Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever been caught in a storm? Rain? Lightning? Thunder? Or maybe all three? Today we're not just talking about a thunderstorm, we're talking about something a little bigger. It's something called extreme weather. Wait, how can the weather be extreme? Extreme weather is the kind of weather that does not fit with established patterns or trends. In other words, extreme weather is unexpected. Sometimes we can predict using patterns where and when different types of extreme weather occurred in the past, and sometimes it happens unexpectedly. Either way, it's important that we are as prepared as possible. Therefore, engineers try to find different solutions to their impact and protect us. One example of extreme weather is tornadoes. A region in the central part of the United States, Tornado Alley, experiences a large amount of tornadoes. You've probably seen a picture or a video of a tornado. It looks like a funnel of wind. They're super strong. Their winds can reach up to 300 miles per hour, which is strong enough to pick up and throw anything in their path which can be incredibly dangerous. People living in this area have to be prepared at any given moment for a tornado. Engineers have developed different solutions like storm shelters to protect them. Storm shelters are specially designed safe places that are usually under the ground to protect people from tornadoes. Sometimes they're even under someone's house. The walls of these shelters are usually built with very thick concrete and have extra reinforcement with metal. This structure is to make sure that people stay safe during a tornado. People have these shelters under the ground because tornadoes are so strong that they can toss cars, boats, and even buildings and houses. No one can stop a tornado from happening. But engineers are coming up with new ways to reduce their destruction. Another example of extreme weather would be a blizzard. And no, I don't mean the kind of blizzard you eat. I mean the one that's a supercharged snowstorm. Blizzards are most common in places like Russia, Central and Northeastern Asia, Northern Europe, Canada, Alaska, and Antarctica. In order to make sure that people continue to receive running water and are able to get out of their houses and other buildings in case of a blizzard, engineers have developed various building solutions, also called preventative building. Preventative building is building something to prepare for extreme weather. To help people stay safe during a blizzard, in places like Oslo, Norway, for example, heated sidewalks help melt the snow and ice to allow people to walk around safely. Other places are looking to build their roads with different materials altogether to minimize the harm of snowfall and to increase the time a road is able to melt snow all by itself. This means that people will not have to clean roadways and sidewalks of snow, and they also won't have to worry about the snow from the blizzard being too deep. That would be super helpful. And the last example for today on our extreme journey is the Gulf Coast of the United States. Here they have such an extreme amount of rainfall that they often have to worry about flooding. This is why it's important for areas that get a lot of rain to have proper irrigation. Irrigation is the way that water flows. Sometimes in areas that are very rainy, people have to make sure that there are enough places for water to naturally flow so that the area does not experience flooding. Well, this is another type of preventative building. Why is it important to prevent flooding? Well, imagine if your kitchen and bedroom all of a sudden turned into a swimming pool. That might be fun for a minute or two. But what about your clothes later? Where are you going to make food? What about your furniture? Everything would be a wet, dangerous mess. In coastal areas, like some parts of Louisiana, most of the houses are built on stilts or on top of garages to prevent them from flooding. Look at how these high houses are up off the ground. That's because these areas experience high waves caused by really strong storms called hurricanes. If the houses are not elevated, well, they could be destroyed or even swept away by the ocean. 
So having a house built off the ground, sturdy, and built correctly has a better chance of surviving strong waves from the ocean. Another example of preventative construction is seawalls. Seawalls have curved surfaces and are built along beaches to block waves or even send them back to the ocean. Huh, how cool is that? Now, we can't stop these extreme weather conditions from happening, but we can do our best to be ready and prepared. Whether it's a tornado, blizzard, hurricane, or flooding, the best someone can do is just to be prepared. Luckily, we have engineers who build creative solutions to protect us and to minimize the damage caused by extreme weather conditions. Can you think of any other extreme weather problems we need to solve? Let's discover them together in our next video.